I'm Michael Dillamer said with Dealbook of the New York Times, and I'm here with my colleague Peter Latman to talk about Andrew Cuomo's lawsuit against Ernst & Young. So Peter, what exactly is Cuomo talking about? What exactly is he accusing the accounting firm of doing here? Yeah, so this is a civil fraud lawsuit brought by Cuomo's office. And what it's alleging is that Ernst & Young, which is Lehman Brothers' uh, longtime outside auditor, they helped uh, Lehman perpetrate a massive accounting fraud in helping Lehman uh, basically execute these controversial transactions that help the investment bank remove debt off its books to basically make its financial health appear better than it actually was. And what exactly were these transactions? They were called Repo 105, right? Like, what, what exactly was the point of the transaction? Yeah, so they're called Repo 105. It sounds uh, sinister, but it's actually not. What Repo 105 effectively was, was this complex transaction where they would remove debt off of Lehman's books at the end of every quarter mm -hmm. to make its balance sheet look better than it actually was. So you've heard the term leverage ratios. Mm -hmm. So these investment banks back in 07, 08 had extremely high leverage ratios. They borrowed far more money uh, against their balance sheet than they should have been borrowing. And what these transactions did was make it appear that they had less leverage on their balance sheet than they actually did. Now, was it actually illegal or what were the rules governing these sort of transactions? Well, I, I think they were aggressive and they did get a legal opinion from a UK law firm that it was okay to execute these Repo 105 transactions. But what the um, Attorney General is accusing Ernst & Young of is basically assenting to these transactions when it really knew that this would give the public a misleading view of what Lehman's financial health was. Right, and Cuomo's not accusing Ernst & Young of doing anything criminally wrong. This is just a civil lawsuit, No, right? this is a civil fraud lawsuit, but what's significant about it is that it's really the first major lawsuit brought by a regulator that's related to the Lehman bankruptcy. So there's been public fury over the Wall Street bailouts, and everyone's asking, why haven't there been any criminal charges or charges otherwise brought by the federal government against these firms? Right, well, that's right. I mean, the Justice Department, the SEC, we haven't seen anything from them related to Lehman's collapse yet, right? Right. So this is, uh, it's interesting. The New York Attorney General, first Spitzer and now Cuomo, often take the lead in pursuing Wall Street. And uh, here, this seems to be another example of that, because the SEC nor the Justice Department have brought any cases relating to Lehman. Now, have there, has there been any sort of precedent about them following, like, say, the Attorney General of New York when they press charges like this? It, it's unclear, and it's hard to say. Certainly, we know that the SEC and the Justice Department have both been exploring uh, Lehman Brothers and other firms that were connected to the financial crisis, but so far we haven't seen anything from federal regulators. So this comes about 10 days before Cuomo takes on the governorship of New York, and uh, it's probably one of the last lawsuits he's going to file. So um, presumably, if Ernst & Young doesn't settle, this case is going to be handed off to his successor, uh, the incoming Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. Thank you, Peter. I'm Michael Dillamer said with Dealbook of the New York Times.